Hello and welcome to the tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to install PHP Fox on a uh, VPS server at the xyzserver.com. So um, to get started, I have um, downloaded my uh, package from PHP Fox and uh, uploaded the upload folder contents here, just the upload folder contents. And um, I've also double clicked on the readme file just to give me the instructions for installing the product here. So I've installed, uh, uploaded the uh, upload folder and changed the file permissions for the following uh, files listed here. I've set them to 0777 and uh, just to check that we're going to check file uh, attachment by going into the uh, file manager of the server. So I open it here, that's the file folder attachment and yes it's 777 permissions you can see there so perfect so now, now that I've got all my um, permissions changed I can scroll down and it says uh, using the web installer so to use the web installer it's uh, relatively straightforward we just put the um, dash at the end there so here's my URL I'm installing it on fast train so I'm gonna put install index.php I mean oh, it should be a dot there not a dash install slash index.php enter so now this should take me to the uh, installer here we go so it's asking for my um, client ID and password I think that's it Nope. There we go. So I've verified my client's license ID and I have the PHP Fox license agreement which I've read already so I'm going to agree to that. And we can see here that uh, my server has been set up uh, correctly already to support PHP Fox with PHP 5 PHP XML support, PHP GD support, and MySQL. So I've got all those um, services activated, and I can proceed to the next step. So now it's asking me for the database, and I have yet to create one for this, so we're actually going to go back to the control panel, the C panel rather, and we're going to create a database. So we can do that uh, with the MySQL database wizard here. It's going to be called Fast Fox. Fast Fox. So I'm going to make a, a password up. and to create the user. So we're going to give it all privileges and click to the next step. So our database was added, FastFox. So now I can go back to the installer and my database password. So my database name was fast underscore fox and my username was also the same. To keep things simple a database host is a local host and I'm going to click start the install so there we go it's connected to the MySQL database it's importing the data it's installing the modules And we're just going to verify the final steps here. So 
So it's going to take some time while it uh, installs all the, the modules for the community version of this um, developer version of the PHP Fox site. Here we go, all modules installed, please hold. So it's going to check the, uh, the files that were installed to the server now. The post install has been completed. And here we go, create an admin account. So this could be your full name here. I'm just going to put admin, admin, and password. I'm going to make, make something up. Email. Date of birth. So I'm going to be born on May the 10th. 1979. My location, I'm going to be from the British Indian Ocean Territory. Actually, no, let's put something more. We'll do United States. And we're going to select male. Submit. So it's successfully installed PHP Fox 3.01. So now that it's all been installed, I can view the site. And it's going to take me to the URL. And here you go. So this tells you that your site has been installed OK. And I can log in with my email address that I registered with and my password. And click login. So here we go, I've now logged in, and this is the, uh, the, the member, member area for the site. As an, as an admin, I've also got this admin CP tab up here. So when I click here, it takes me to log into the uh, administrator's dashboard. And I'm getting some errors here, um, some warnings. It's saying that the install directory still exists, the main configuration file is writable, and the main folder file is writable. So these folders should not have any write permissions. So right away, I'm going to go into my uh, file manager and remove the write permissions from here. So I go to the file folder. I'm going to change permissions. And this one here is going to be removed. So now when I go back to my admin dashboard, I refresh the page. One, of the, one less warning to worry about. So now it's the include server setting. Server set.php is writable. So let's fix that right away. We're going to go to oops. We're going to go to include setting server set is writable. So we're going to change the permissions up here. Get rid of that write. Change permissions. Go back to the admin dashboard, refresh the page, and it's one less warning to worry about. Now it's the install directory. So we're just going to delete this for security purposes. Go you know, back, back again, and there's install. So I'm just going to delete this folder. Are you sure? Yes. So I go back to the admin dashboard, and here we go. We're now ready. So once you, once you have uh, installed, there are a number of configurations that uh, you can run in the um, admin CP. And uh, settings is, is a good one to start with, just uh, manage settings. And um, here you'll see all of the, the settings for, for the actual site here. So you can go, go around one by one and um, just configure the settings to suit. And uh, you'll see, before you know it, you'll be editing your site just the way you like it. If you have any questions, there's a very active forum at uh, phpfox.com. And uh, we're also happy to help you uh, at the XYZ server. So thanks for watching this tutorial, and uh, speak to you soon. Bye for now.